I could bring something new and valuable that this Board of Ed hasn't had, and that is the mind of a parent that has kids in school so that with some of the decisions that are made, uh, maybe they have that perspective of how it would impact on the kids every day. Um, I, I think I would make a very good candidate, and I hope that uh, everyone else would agree. Thank you. Uh, Bill? Like I said earlier, I've been a resident here for 63 years. No, not 63 years. I'm sorry. I'm aging myself. Since 1963. I had a student, a child who was in the school system. She went through school number 10, the middle school, and the high school. She did very well. She was in and out of special education. All she needed was that little bit of extra help. I was her advocate for 13 years. I want to be the advocate of all the other kids. The citizens, the teachers, the administrators, and the staff. I want to help turn this board around. And we need good people up there. And I think I would do an awesome job. Thank you. Thank you, Obviously, we've been pinpointing a lot of the flaws in our town, so I'm the person who's going to change that. I'm the person who's going to listen to you. I'm the person who's going to pay attention to you. It's not going to go in one ear out the other, as many of us know currently happens. I'm a human being. I make mistakes, but I do rectify them. I do tell you that I will rectify a mistake if I made a mistake. I will be transparent. There is no one hand washes the other. It, you wash them together. That's how I do it. I will not allow anyone to get into my, change my morale, change my ethics, change my foundation. I'm here because I too am suffering consequences. I too want that change to be seen. If we can stop it, we can stop it. We need to stop it now. We can't allow this to continue. I'm going to focus on all the financial issues we're currently having. Definitely outsourcing grants, you know, finding that direction and walk through there. Not just not just know that this is wrong and we got to we have to do this, but actually physically moving forward. And I definitely feel that no matter what, we have to think positively. Because if we give up, what are we teaching our children? So I hope that you do consider me November 4th. Thank you, Ms. Lamparelli. We're at an interesting place in time here in Belva right now because we're on the precipice of change. I mean, no matter what happens, who is elected, and who is sitting on that Board of Education in the coming years, we are going to be the people that are going to change everything. Gone is going to be the day of criticism, the day of intimidation, the day of bullying, the day when people are afraid for their jobs, parents are afraid to talk to the principals and the teachers because they're afraid something will happen to their child. We're in a... We're, we're in the beginning of a great place, and I honestly would love to be there on that board and be part on the ground floor of it, because we're the only people who can enact the change that we need around here. The days of politics need to be done. I mean, there's, there's no place for it anymore. Our number one priority here is our children, and that is why I am doing this. I am here for the children, for your children, to make sure that they have everything that they need so that they can go out there and they can be productive, happy members of society. And go back, and when people say to them, where did you go to school? They can happily say, I graduated from Bobo High School and it was great. Thank you, please vote for me. And finally, the next word goes to Mr. Kumar. I have a bachelor's degree in nursing, U.S. Navy veteran, American Legion member, Essex County Judicial Volunteer Administrator at Advanced Surgery Center. I have two kids in the school system. I have a vested interest in what the board does and what they don't do. 
I'm an involved parent, PTA, Father's Pride Committee. I sit on the Belleville uh, Department of uh, Recreations and Cultural Affairs Advisory Board. I'm a registered professional nurse with over 30 years of experience. I've had the opportunity to work for organizations with budgets in the billions. I presently handle a budget of $20 million. My business experiences has helped me acquire a variety of professional skills. Those skills are going to help me to be able to execute my role as a board member. Managing employees comes easy. I developed a private health care billing company, which I'm the managing partner of. These experience, experiences will enhance my ability to serve the district. I believe that the Board of Education's priority should always be to put the best interests of the students and the district first, before any other interests. Personal and political interests should not be influenced in the decisions that impact on our children's education. I also believe that, as elected officials, the members of the Board of Education have a duty to serve the public by maintaining open and honest communications with the citizens of the district, and by conducting board business with integrity and transparency. Citizens of Belleville who address the board at meetings should be treated with respect, and this doesn't happen. This board is a disgrace to our children, our community, and they are a reflection of us. Be careful when you go out to vote. My running mate, Patty, and I are not endorsed by any members of this board, and I tell you, we are the right candidates. November 4th, come out and vote. Thank you. I believe that concludes our proceedings for the evening. Thank you so much for your respectful attention. And, uh, Ladies and gentlemen, also, can we have a special warm hand of applause for Mr. Braun, who so graciously took on the Thank you so much for coming tonight. Please be careful as you exit. The lights are not on. The pavement is rough. Walk, walk along the, the cement portion to get to your cars. Thank you for coming. Thank you very much.